Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris Bormas and uh, we appreciate you joining us today. Uh, today we're going to focus on one particular area and that's going to be on root supported overdenture attachments. So this is an area pre-implant there was a lot of focus on. A lot of the attachments we're going to talk about in the next couple episodes go back a couple years but a lot of the fundamentals still hold true of when, where, and why we want to use these attachments. And there's been a couple new attachments in recent years that really, to me, give our patients the best overall restoration. So why would we want to utilize a root instead of removing the tooth and placing an implant? Well, once we decoronate our tooth and we place our post or our custom cast post and coping in there, the obvious benefits of a tooth instead of an implant are number one, we have proprioception, Number two, we still have periodontal ligament. We have the built-in shock absorbers, and more importantly, the patient knows how much bite force they're exerting. Whereas we all know with implants, without those mechanoreceptors, the patient can overload the opposing dentition because of the extreme bite forces they're generating. So right off the, the bat, we're maintaining bone. The patient knows what's hot, what's cold. Ouch, I'm biting too hard. So. This is going to be an ideal scenario to keep the tooth, decoronate it, and let's place an attachment. So the third instance we really want to consider using one of these root attachments instead of an implant is if we have a patient with a Kennedy class one partial denture. Free end saddle, our abutments are either our canines or our bicuspids, and the patient fractures one of the abutment teeth. Well, if they fracture it, we can remove the tooth, we can place an implant, we have to go through the integration period, we can't load it. We're gonna be loading up on a lateral or a weaker tooth, and then we have the RPD, which we need to add a tooth to, and it's an extensive procedure. Now, if we utilize a root retained attachment, decoronate that tooth and cut it down to tissue level and use something like a ball attachment or a locator that self pivots, self parallels, that new attachment will line up to the existing path of insertion of the clasp retained side. It's a win-win for the patient. It's less, much more affordable, uh, less you know, costly than placing an implant. We're maintaining the tooth, and this can be done much faster than placing an implant. So on the neck tech talks, we're gonna talk about three different types of attachment options for the patients we wish to use natural teeth as abutments. Thank you, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for the latest edition of Tech Talks by Pre on root supported overdenture attachments. Interested in learning more about the products you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at preet.com. Have a question you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalks at preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com.